Hey, this is Frank Yosa. Hopefully I've turned on the camera here. I got yeah, CK here and he picked me up from the airport. He's on our Facebook group. If you're not on the Facebook group, you're missing out on, I guess, giving me rides. <laughs> but no, no. Uh, we're, we're chatting up and he started talking about how he uses it. I'm like, wait a second, this is, this is good content. We gotta get this on a video. Um, currently he's using it for sleep. Uh, taking half a cap full and he's got all, every single device. He's got a, a watch which he thinks is as good as the Aura Ring. The what's it called again? The whoop. The whoop and then the the, the, the ring, the Aura Ring. Um, but then he was talking about how he started using Esther last, uh, he was, started using Esther last year and he's a semi-pro uh, soccer. soccer player. And uh, yeah, so repeat what you were saying about what it did you know, in the, when you started taking it, changing the game. Yeah, before I, so I took ketone salts before and that changed, like that did a lot. And then Which I took, ones, which ones? Um, the Prove It or the Racemic I stuff? I used, uh, there it was one called Ketoba. I don't okay, know so yeah, it's Racemic. And um, then I also tried one, um, uh, was it Perfect Keto or something like Perfect that? Keto, yeah. yeah. Also Racemic, so only half of it works. Only oh, half okay. of it is bioavailable, so it has double the salt. Of the other ones, like Prove It, has half the salt load. And are you, were you keto back then and keto yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. I've been keto for about seven years now. Okay. So sometimes one theory is that those ketone salts, the reason that they work is you might be low on salt. Yeah. So it's the equivalent of 20 salt pills taking one of those packets. Okay. So unless you, one thing to do is compare it to just taking straight up salt and be like, oh wow, I feel great. Well, when you're keto, you can be very low on salt without even knowing it so it's right. another way okay. so then you, you started taking the ester yeah and how much and then i took the ester i think uh the first time it was around 15 10 or 10 to 15 okay and it just blew me away it was amazing we were playing in a tournament it was uh you took it the first time in a tournament without yeah. practicing with it first yeah 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 was, we do not suggest doing that at home <laughs> but yeah, I just got it, so, so I, what did, I figured I'd try yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, what did uh, and what my happened? energy was through the roof, like lasted throughout the game, and I was still sprinting like full speed. Yeah. At the end of the game, like 90 yeah. minutes. People think people think that the ester is not for sprinters, and they're like, oh, it's for endurance. Uh uh, uh uh. When you sprinting in a soccer type sprinting, maybe not for a hundred meter dash. Okay, you win, but for soccer to be able to do those, you know wind sprints and recover instantly so that you can be you know, just as fast. Now, did you notice yourself possibly 99% as fast as you might have been before? Like there's a theory that you might be a little bit s slower because of, uh, because of the lower blood sugar, huh. but you'll be recovered so much faster. So like maybe the beginning of the game, you weren't catching up, but at the end of the game, you're, you were destroying everyone. Uh, yeah, uh, that's interesting. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah. I just, I, I was blowing everyone away by yeah. the end of the game, so. And you're the oldest one out there, too. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm 40, and the average age is probably like 23, oh, 24, wow. 25. Keep you in the game, man. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, it blew me away, and then the recovery afterwards, whereas before I was out for like two days and just sore and couldn't really, or didn't really want right. to work out or anything. So you took 15 ml, did you take any glucose? Did you re-up during the event or just no, 15 like at the beginning the and then water? it was just the 15. And then water throughout the game and that was it? Yeah, yeah. And okay. now, uh, I, I do a lot of other stuff. Um, I make my own energy drink and stuff. Okay. Um, well, th that's a stack. What do you, what right. do you put in it? What we, everyone oh, wants man. to hear. It's like sea salt, okay. lemon juice, apple cider vinegar. Uh, there's some mushroom extract in there. There's chia seeds, some honey. Honey? Okay. Yeah. That's not very keto though, right? No. Okay. But uh, I figure... And you take I that with the ester or you take that instead of the ester? I take that like at halftime. At halftime, okay. Yeah. All right. To uh, replenish yeah. glucose stores and stuff. Uh, I think that's it. There might be a few other things in there. Well, very cool. And then now you're migrating more to sleep. Uh, did you say that you were able to track a difference? Like you have all those uh, devices? Not yet. I just started two about two days ago. Oh, okay. Uh, started taking it before sleep. The two point five, and yeah. you didn't see any difference. What about feeling? Did you feel, you know, I feel like wake I'm up earlier sleeping. or anything? I feel better when I wake up. I think. Okay. Um, okay. Well, you can jump to you can go to five mLs. Okay. You know, the the two point five is a good way to start, but I I, I take five mLs. Okay. Um, so yeah. Any other? Uh, you just actually just where's the the bottle? Oh yeah. You just tried the new uh, 
KE1. I know it's only been 10 minutes since we've been driving to the conference, but uh, and you don't have to say, say if you feel anything. Do you feel anything? I yet? think so. I was gonna say before we started recording that I think I'm feeling something. I feel more right. alert and energetic. All right. Well, maybe it's placebo. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. Or, yeah, maybe it's because you're here. And you're <laughs> the owner of the company is here <laughs> in, in the car and putting you on the spot. Like, <laughs> you will feel this. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, cool. Yeah. So, soccer is uh, it's well known for cycling, but soccer they did actually maybe you don't know this they did a clinical trial using our drink that we supplied, where they did wind sprints. And I told the people, you know, I don't think they're going to be. I told the scientists, I didn't think that they were gonna be any faster. But while you're at it, why don't you test their brain after the wind sprints? Oh, no kidding. So then they did the wind sprints and did this, you know, I don't know, two second, five second game test in between sessions. And it was successful. And the title of the paper ended up being, you know, cognitive, you know, improvement using ketone esters. Huh. The sprinting was the same. I think technically, if you look at the numbers very carefully, it kind of looks like they might have been a little bit slower at least at the, at the beginning um so that's why i was you know asking about being slower at the beginning because you know uh, sprinting requires more glucose but anyhow i initially thought that the that the group was sharper that had ketones versus the placebo group no the the group that had ketones had the same baseline as before they started Huh. Like they hadn't dropped at all oh. in mental cognition. So the, the ketone group was like this and the placebo group was like this. I oh, thought wow. they both went down and you know, you're a little bit, no, no, no. So we're talking about bottom line being as mentally sharp at the end of the game versus the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. You know, what does that do? It just annihilates the field just, yeah. just based on that. Yeah. Um, do you remember any mental cognition towards the end of the game or, or whether you normally I think you know, just in general yeah. I, I don't know if I felt it necessarily at the end um, but in general I was definitely like more alert and I don't know if it was just from the increased level of performance that I was getting right. but like I felt more excited right um, so um, you were more motivated yeah. yeah so one funny thing is I gave this one guy a friend of mine it didn't work for him the first time, so then he, he on his own took like 60 mLs. Huh. And you know, I've said before that sometimes too much of a good thing. Yeah. He said that sure, thing he was playing tennis. Sure, things were in slow motion, time dilation, but then his he was more apathetic. Huh. He actually was less motivated. So there is a peak of right. you know the motivation, but he you know burned that out, and he was just like, why am I 